Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Cancer. Cancer, welcome to your July of 2015 tarot scope and animal totem. Um, I use the uh, Hanson Roberts deck. I was going to announce that. It's number one for the tarot. And then I'm going to pull a card from my deck that I created, the uh, Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. Excuse me, let me just get a quick drink of water before we start. Okay, I also want to announce that I seem to be getting a lot of people that are just wanting readings right away, right away. And the current wait time, I try to announce this every time, the current wait time is about three weeks, which is not that bad. I mean, some people you have to wait months or years to see them. Oh, here comes a card for you, a couple. Oh, look at this. We've got like three. This was first, second, third. Oh, there's another one here. And another. Well, there's a whole bunch of them going the wrong way. I think your whole reading might be just right here. Isn't this crazy? Okay. So, uh, back to that. About three weeks, so know that when you're ready to order. And the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle, my tarot book, Modern, Tarot in the Modern World, and all the info and the readings, you can get to that page by clicking the link that says Goods and Services. Okay. So this one wants to come out. Get a few more cards, and then we'll do our interpretation right after. Okay. Oh, look at that. One more. Oh, this is a nice spread for you. Well, you know, this is a big month uh, astrologically. It's, it's, the energies are definitely shifting and changing. I've said this in all the readings. Because we're going to have this Venus-Jupiter conjunction. This is luck, love, money for everybody. And you in particular, especially if you have Cancer rising, then that would be in your second house of finance and money. And sure enough, there's a Ten of Pentacles showing right out there. Um, you know, you guys may want to watch the astrology videos. I know it, it, it's a little bit heavy on astrology for, for people who aren't into it. But it is a psychic reading as well. And I was watching them myself recently, like sort of critiquing myself. And I noticed that I kind of get warmed up as, we, as it goes into it later. So I kind of start out, you know, just going over the astrology. But like later in the reading, I, I tend to get, um, you know, a little bit more psychic stuff starts to come through, it seems, a little bit later. So... Hang in there on those. If you watch just the first couple minutes and let it go, you know, hang in there because there, some stuff usually does come through. I, I never do any prep ahead of time. You know, I'm, I'm not preparing what I'm going to say on those or here either. I shuffle the cards right in front of you. And also note that I use the whole deck. A tarot deck is very thick, just saying. I'm not, not calling anybody particular out, but there's 78 cards in a tarot deck, just saying. And I use every single one of them when I do your spread here. Okay, so let's take a look. Yeah, you do have the Ten of Pentacles down here. That's some nice stuff. That is the big money card. That is the highest pinnacle card in the deck, and it does represent finances, money, prosperity. Often it does talk about real estate, because there's the castles in the background and everything, and you do have the Four of Rods up here. The Four of Rods was that very first card that came out here. So Four of Rods always is... It does. It's usually a change in your home environment. That's the number one interpretation, and notice the castles on here, too. Um, white castle, white castle. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, this four, four of rods, this is changes in your home environment. And usually it pertains to your house or your living arrangements, but sometimes it can be a career move. You know, it can be. Uh, because you spend your every day in your office, too. You know, you spend a lot of time there. That's your daily environment as well. But number one thing is your change of your home. Uh, the four of rods is always, always an improvement. Always hands down it's an improvement so usually uh it doesn't have to be bigger better even though you do have the ten of pentacles here for a lot of you maybe it is going to be bigger better you, know, you might move to a, a much nicer home but it does not have to be uh, because it is it's about the emotional state 
It's about the happiness and the peace of mind and everything. And sometimes it is downsizing because something about the four rods always makes me think like cozy. But it doesn't have to be. It's whatever your, uh, your interpretation of that might be. So there's that. That's happening. You know, there's a change in your home environment for the better. After a long-standing stalemate, it seems like. Looks like we were at a stalemate for some time here, and then finally we're, we're able to move. Justice is in reverse, so there's some element of things are not fair about it, the way it went down or whatever. Uh, but I still feel like this is a very good reading, even though justice is in reverse. And uh, temperance is there, too. So temperance is about finding harmony and balance and peace. And temperance also is one of the angelic cards. So it's like angels and spirit guides are around, and, and it's all for the highest good. You know, it's, it's a very positive card. Um, it almost seems like maybe in some cases some of you had to move. So maybe your lease was up and you couldn't get a renewal or something and you had to leave. Or, you know, because this injustice thing. Or maybe you're trying to sell a house and you, it's just like, well, maybe you're not going to get what you really think is fair value, but you just need to move anyway. You know, there's something like that. There's a little hiccup here, and it's, it seems like it's not really fair, but... It's gonna the the end result is worth going forward anyway. You know, you've got the temperance, you've got the four of rods. Very much similar, you know, very much about harmony, balance, peace, getting peace. What can you put a price on that? What's the price what's the price of having peace of mind and, and harmony in your life? You know, so maybe there's something that wasn't quite right. Maybe for some of you there it could be in relationships issues, like we just can't get along and we're gonna legally separate and we're moving and then I have peace in my life. You know, that could that could be. Uh, I'm not going to get too hung up on this because this the overall spread on these two things are very positive and down here looks fantastic. Um, there is a disagreement or something with somebody. Somebody that there's been a fighting with. We've, we can't agree. We've been arguing. We've been going back and forth. Ace of Swords in reverse is like we're just not going to... It doesn't seem like we're, there's any hope to see a, to make a to make a breakthrough, to have a to have it clear up, to make it better. You know, it just doesn't seem like that's going to really happen. So, um, you know, there's some issues going on, but it's a new day. You know, it's a brand new day. Uh, we've got the Ace of Cups here. That is a new beginning in love, so that may be the case, but it's near this pentacle card, so it almost feels more like it's going to be, you know, it's a new day to... Um, it's a new beginning in love or, like, sort of creativity even for, for a lot of you. Sorry about that, Cancer. I had a little glitch with the camera. But anyways, Ace of Cups. Yeah, that could be like something you love. It's the beginning of something you love. It could be the beginning of someone you love. Uh, but it's next to this Ten of Pentacles. So I almost want to say it's like this, uh, you know, the do what you love and the money will follow thing. You know, it seems like it's, uh, well, it's a new, it, it all ties into this peace of mind and this feeling better. You know, it's about you're feeling good, feeling better. It does seem like there's something you may have to walk away from, you know, in order for this all to happen. But, um, by the same token, I feel like it's really going to be worth it for you guys in the end. Because you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So you're, you're, you're making a change in your life and making a change on your path. But it's going to be really for the best. Um, it's going to relieve stress, too. This is talking about, you know, again, I'm, I feel so stressed out all the time. Um... There's all these obstacles in my way, but now it's like this stuff is being lifted. When this is in reverse, it's like this is being lifted, and I'm feeling better. Um, also, the Four of Swords in reverse, too. So it says that there's been this long time of this healing or waiting or something like this, and now things are getting back into action. Things are starting to move forward. And we are kind of coming off that Mercury retrograde of last month, you know, so... There's that, too. It might just be things were stalled and delayed, and now they're going to really move forward. There seems to be news coming, too, uh, regarding this new beginning of money and, and all, what you love. Excuse me. Some of you, this could be like your dream job. You know, you're going to get the news that there is some kind of what you've been hoping for. Because Ace of Cups is also could be like what you've been hoping for. Or if, you know, if money weren't an issue... What would you be doing with yourself? That's another way to look at this. 
And the Ace of Cups talks about, you know, you you could really be doing it. It could really be starting. It could really be happening. And that Venus and Jupiter, that's extremely lucky. Even if you're not Cancer rising, you have to know your rising sign to know the house it's going to fall in. But, um, you know, they say, the astrologers do say, like, the Sun conjunct Jupiter is the luckiest day of the year. And Venus conjunct Jupiter is right in there, too. So it is a lucky, it is a shift in the heavy energy that we've been to in for everyone, you know. And you, you know, with Cancers, you're so in tune and perceptive anyway. You know, you're watery, you're intuitive, you're tuned into the vibes, you know, and the moon. You know, you, you're, the moon is the tides and, you know, going with the tides and going with the shifts and everything. So you're in there, you know, you, you feel it. Even if you don't, you don't have to be an astrologer or follow astrology to feel the energies, you know, and you definitely are people that do feel these kind of energies. So for a lot of you, there's going to be a move. There's definitely a turn for the better in your finances. Um, this is all requiring you to let something go, though, and it might not be fair and it might not be right, but the sooner you let it go, the sooner that these other good things can start coming in here, all right? So, okay, let's go ahead and move over to the... Um, the card for the animal totem for you guys. And again, this is my own deck, the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. Okay, what's the animal totem for Cancer for July 2014? I got more than one. Okay, I got one here. Oh, Pig. Pig's not a bad card at all. I found in the, instead of putting the card right up in the camera, I'm just going to edit it in later. So you should see it on your screen. But I'm going to go ahead and read what it says here, what I wrote. It says, tenacious, steadfast, bold, independent, bringer of luck, prosperity, and wealth. Those are some of the things I was just talking about. Um, feast and celebrate and gratitude. Prolific creation, a time of great fertility. Yeah, so that really kind of makes sense with this reading, too, you know. Uh, luck, just like I was talking about. Uh, creation, prolific creation, ace of cups. You know, that could be your creativity. It's just really flourishing, too. Uh, time of great fertility and abundance. You know, this is um, this Ten of Pentacles. It's exactly what this talks about. Now, it was my intention. I have the. I should have the pig up on the screen for you guys. Take a look at the card for a minute, because it really was my intention that there be messages in these cards that it speak to your subconscious. So take a second to look at it, and if something stands out to you, you know, go for it. Allow, you know, it doesn't have to be all there. You know, there's shapes and different things. Well, this is one of the cards I never, I didn't realize till after I created them. It has a question mark on the tail. It could be a question mark. But, but there's all sorts of things. So just take a minute to look at it. Um, and uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be right back with some more info for you guys. And I'll talk to you next month. Have a great July. Hi everyone, before we go, uh, I wanted to let everyone know that I've signed up for Patreon, so if you want to, I mean, you can still donate through PayPal and through Google Wallet, but if you enjoy all the free content that I post every month, you can sign up to Patreon, and it's just my name, patreon.com slash Verley. Uh, if you go on my main channel under the About section, you'll find all that. You know, there's a link to Patreon and everything else, how to order a mandala, how to get a reading, uh, prints, everything that's available. Uh, and of course on Amazon, if you're learning how to read tarot from these videos, you know, you can order my book, Tarot in the Modern World. It's less than $10, very reasonable. Um, and everything is on this Order the Mandala page. If you can't find anything else, go to the Order the Mandala page. And there we have everything. My deck, uh, the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards is there. Um, you know, the, the charts, the uh, reports, and make a donation through PayPal. So I really do appreciate all your, your support. You know, it's a, it's a labor of love, but it does take up quite a bit of time to get all these readings out to you guys every month. On, and a little bit definitely helps. Um, also on my main page, you can check out some of my other channels on the home section. I've got a link to some of my other stuff here. You know, this is VV Creator Shorts. It's my keyboard station. And if you have small children, I have the Vicky Verley channel, which is learning songs for kids. Okay, I want to thank you all for donating and liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing to my channels. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon.